Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Huawei, which was once banned and besieged, has now achieved overall balance in 18 technology fields with 39 American and Western giants. But can this technology game really be won by balance alone? Five years ago, Huawei was once in the darkest moment due to sanctions, and many people thought it would fall from the altar of technology. However, data at the end of 2024 showed that Huawei has achieved overall balance in 18 key technology fields with 39 American and Western technology giants with a market value of 15.4 trillion yuan. These fields cover chip design, 5G networks, operating systems, artificial intelligence, photovoltaic energy, etc., almost covering the core links of the current technology industry chain. What does balance mean? Simply put, in these fields, Huawei's technical strength and market position can compete with the top American and Western technology companies. For example, in the 5G field, Huawei's global market share is far ahead, and 6G patents are even more dominant. In terms of operating systems, Huawei's Hongming OS has become the world's third largest mobile operating system further challenging the monopoly of Apple iOS and Google Android. In the field of chip design, Huawei's self-developed Kirin chips and Ascend AI chips are already world-class competitors. But behind Huawei's success, there is not only a technological breakthrough, but also a microcosm of the overall rise of China's science and technology industry system. From the MOSI quantum satellite to 5.5G base stations, from domestic chips to smart cars, Huawei has gradually reversed the passive situation in international competition through technological innovation and industrial collaboration. However, balance does not mean victory. This technology shangling is still full of challenges the leading advantages of American and Western technology giants in chip manufacturing, quantum computing and other fields are still obvious. And Huawei needs to break through more technical bottlenecks to go from balance to victory. Huawei's 18 Battlefields, a counterattack from weakness to balance. Do you remember the US sanctions on Huawei in 2019? At that time, Huawei was cut off from the supply chain and banned from Google services, and was almost forced into a corner. However, in just five years, Huawei has turned encirclement and suppression into confrontation with its tenacious R&D capabilities and industrial collaboration. Today, it has achieved parity with American and Western giants in 18 key technology fields. What secrets are hidden behind the balance? The first is the self-reliance of technology. Taking chip design as an example, Huawei, together with domestic partners, has not only solved the production of 4 nanometers and 5 nanometers chips, but also launched Kirin, and Ascend series chips with performance comparable to or even surpassing Qualcomm and NVIDIA. This technological advancement not only allowed Huawei to survive the crisis of chip supply cuts, but also allowed it to regain its foothold in the fields of artificial intelligence and mobile phones. The second is the rapid expansion of the market. In the construction of 5G and 5.5G networks, Huawei not only occupies the first place in the global market share, but also has become the leader in 6G technology. In the photovoltaic field, Huawei has become the world's largest supplier of photovoltaic inverters with a market share of 22%. In the fields of cloud computing and artificial intelligence, Huawei has gradually caught up with the leading position of Amazon, Google and Microsoft through the strategy of cutting from the edge to the core. Why can Huawei single 39 giants? 39 technology companies in the United States and the West, including Apple, Google, NVIDIA, and Microsoft, have a total market value of 15.4 trillion yuan, and each company can be called a giant on average. So what gives Huawei the confidence to gradually achieve balance in these fields? The first is the tilt of policies and resources. At the critical moment of being sanctioned, the Chinese government clearly listed the ICT information and communication technology industry as a national strategic development priority and supported Huawei from all links of the industrial chain. 
This not only allowed Huawei to survive the most difficult five years, but also allowed the entire Chinese technology industry to grow in the crisis. The second is the persistent investment in core technologies. Whether it is 5G networks, Hongming operating systems, or Ascend AI chips, Huawei has achieved a role transformation from chaser to runner through huge R&D investment. Data shows that Huawei's annual R&D investment is as high as hundreds of billions of yuan, even exceeding the total of American technology giants Qualcomm and Intel. The third is industrial collaboration and ecological construction. Huawei is not fighting alone, it has also joined forces with domestic companies to jointly create a complete technology ecosystem from chip manufacturing to operating systems. For example, the cooperation with SMIC and Yangtze Memory not only fills the gap in domestic high-end chip manufacturing, but also further consolidates Huawei's position in the ICT industry chain. From balance to victory, how many hurdles does Huawei have to overcome? Although Huawei has made remarkable achievements, it still faces considerable challenges in many key areas. The most significant problem is that high-end chip manufacturing technology is still controlled by American and Western giants. For example, TSMC and Samsung still have obvious advantages in 3 nanometer chip manufacturing, and Huawei's localization process still needs time to catch up. In addition, the competitive environment in the international market is not friendly to Huawei. In the European market, although Huawei's technology is leading, its market share is still limited due to geopolitical influences. In the US market, Huawei is almost completely excluded. How to break through the dual pressures of technological blockade and market isolation is a realistic problem that Huawei must face. The most important point is that the essence of scientific and technological competition is a contest of innovation capabilities. If Huawei wants to go from balance to victory, it not only needs to further increase its R&D investment, but also break through the bottlenecks of some stuck-neck technologies, such as high-end lithography machines and quantum computing chips. In these areas, the leading advantages of American and Western technology giants cannot be ignored. Huawei's enlightenment, the confidence and path of technological autonomy. From being besieged to achieving balance, Huawei's counterattack is not only the success of a company, but also a microcosm of the overall rise of China's technology industry. Huawei's experience tells us that in the face of technological blockades, only by insisting on independent research and development and building a complete ecosystem can we truly grasp the initiative of the industrial chain. Behind this technological war, a deeper truth is also revealed, the core of technology lies in innovation, and the essence of innovation lies in talent. In the future, whether China's technology industry can continue to maintain its competitiveness depends on how to cultivate and attract top R&D talents, and how to create an environment that is truly suitable for innovation. From being sanctioned to a balanced confrontation, Huawei has proved the importance of technological autonomy with breakthroughs in 18 fields. But balance is just the beginning. In the future technological battlefield, can Huawei make steady progress and move towards victory? What do you think about this?